Welcome to Exercise and Licenses online training videos. This video will show you how to apply online for a new retail tobacco store business license. There are a couple of steps that you will need to take to apply online. First thing is you should go to the retail tobacco store website to see all required documents for this new application. You'll want to make sure you have your documents filled out and uploaded on your computer. Make sure that these documents are completely filled out, signed and dated, and uploaded onto your computer. And then you'll want to go and log into Denver's Online Permitting and Licensing Center. You'll want to make sure that you have a credit card or a debit card ready. You may also process a payment from a bank account. For this, you would need the routing number, account number, account holder name, and account type. You also want to make sure that you have a um, created a login for Denver's Online Permitting and Licensing Center. There is another video that shows you how to register for an account. Okay, so we are now at Denver's Permitting and Licensing Center. You will want to add in your username or email. And then you will want to add, type in your password. And then click on login. This will now bring you to the home screen for Denver's Permitting and Licensing Center. You will want to apply new. So under business, short-term rental and occupational licensing, you'll click on apply new. And then under, and then now you are under business licenses and you will select the license type that you are going to apply for. In this instance, it's going to be under all other online business licenses. You'll click on application package and then click on continue application. Then you'll have the thank you screen and it just tells you the types of uh, licenses that are available to apply in this section. And then you'll just click on continue. And then this first page is just a, a welcoming page and it tells you uh, what we're going to ask you during the application process. And then it just tells you the steps that you're going to go through. And then again, you're just gonna click on get started. And here on this page, you're going to put in the address for where you are going to apply for your business license. So you'll type in your address. And then um, it's going to also ask you, do you operate out of multiple units, suites, etc.? So like if your address has a unit number or a suite number, you're going to click on yes. And then you will type in the unit number or suite number. And then you will click on search. And then you will click on the address that matches what you're applying for that without the unit numbers or suite numbers. And then if you get multiple parcel, parcel numbers, click on the first parcel number and then you'll click on select and then click on continue application. And there may be business licenses already at this address. If any of the entity registration names matches your, your address, then you would click on yes. Otherwise, click on new since this is a new business application. And then you'll click on continue application. And then this, is, this page is where you're going to tell us what type of license 
you are applying for. So you're going to click on add a license and then you're going to click on this menu, this drop down menu, and you're going to select the type of license that you are applying for. In your case, you are applying for a retail tobacco store license. So you'll click on that and then you'll click on submit. And then now you'll see that the record type is retail tobacco store license. And then you will click on continue application. And this is going to ask if you have already registered um, for an entity registration. And in your instance, this is a brand new application and you probably haven't ever applied for a license online with us before in Excise and Licenses. So you're gonna click No. And then now it's gonna ask, what is your entity type? What is your business type? You're gonna click uh, on this drop down menu and you're gonna tell us whether you're an LLC, a partnership, sole proprietor, select one that applies to your business type. I'm gonna select Limited Liability Company. And then here, the true name of the entity is going to be, what is your business name? And you will type that in here. And then you're going to cl click on continue application. And then here, we want to know who the main contact is going to be for your business. And this is who we need to notify about your application or your license status updates, notifications. Who is the person that is going to be our main contact? This main contact, all any emails, any notification, this is who we are going to send that information to. And so you'll want to put that in here. A lot of people will use like their... Um, main contact on on site and it needs to be a valid person email address and phone number and then their contact phone number then you will click on continue. And then you'll just review that and make sure that the information is correct. And if you need to edit it, you would click on edit and make that update. And then we will click on continue application. And then here is the mailing address. This is also where any correspondence or anything that we need to send out regarding this business license, we need that mailing address. And so you will click on add new, and then you will type in who we're sending this, uh, the mailing information to. And so we could say here, it's the company name. And then if it's a specific department or suite number or something, uh, make sure that we have that address information and then the, the street address of the mailing and the city and the state and the zip code and then you'll click on continue and again you can review the information and make sure that you have the correct mailing address if you need to edit it, you can just click on this little edit button. Otherwise, click, click on continue application. And then this optional email notification, this is anybody else besides who your main contact information is. If you want them to receive an email as well about um, if you, your renewal of your application or if we need documents, um, whatever, uh, a lot of people will include, especially for renewal notifications, they will include the optional email of their accounts payable department here. You can either 
click on add new or you can just click on continue application. And then the final step is this is your last chance to edit any information. So you will review all of the information that you submitted before and if everything looks good you will um, check the box and then continue the application. Otherwise, if you see anything that you need to edit, you will click edit and it will take you back to that part of the application to update. Otherwise, we're gonna read this oath of application and then we're gonna check this box and say that we agree to the oath of application and then we are gonna create the application package. Okay, now we are going to start creating all of the individual portions of your license. So first thing we're going to do is click on Entity Registration. So we're going to click on Start. And this, this portion of the application is going to ask you about the information about the company name overall. So before, and this page is not editable. editable. Before we ask what type of uh, company are you applying with, and so this is an LLC, and then you entered in the true name of your company. And then so we're just going to click on continue application. Here is telling you all of the documents that you need to submit for your application. And you'll wanna make sure that all of these documents are created and they are on your um, desktop so you can upload those documents during this application. So then we're just going to click on continue application. And then here, if you have a trade name for your company, this is where you're going to put the trade name. This is usually the sign that's on your business. So add a trade name. And you don't have to enter a trade name, but if you would like to, the, the enter that here and this is also the trade name will show up on your license and then you will click on submit and the trade name is also um, it does business as and then you will click on continue application and then this is going to we're going to ask about the who owns your company and the ownership information. And so what we're asking is, does anyone own 10% or more of the license, either directly or indirectly through another entity? And you can either answer yes or no. If you answer yes, then you'll need to enter the information about the people that own 10% or more. So you click on yes, and then you are going to click on add owner. And then you're going to be asked for their name, their home address, their date of birth, the, their phone number, their email, and what percentage they own of the company. So that's where you will enter that information here. ask for their title and there's a, a bunch of different lists in here of title if you don't see the title you can enter in other and then we will ask for their phone number and then we will also ask for their email address and then the percentage that they own of the company. And that would be between 10% and 100%. And then you click Submit. And then you'll just review that information. And if you need to edit it, you click on Edit Selected. So you would click the little checkbox and then Edit Selected. Otherwise, we will just click on Continue Application. And then here we are going to ask for the organizational documents. And this is, uh, you know, your bylaws, operating agreement, etc. And then you, you will upload that document. And that should be on your computer. And then you would 
So you click on upload, you select the document and you make sure that it's uploaded here. And then you click on continue application. And again, you're gonna review the information that you input regarding the entity registration for your company. And then you will read the oath of application, check the box, and then click on continue application. All right, now we are going to complete the licensed establishment portion of this application. So you're gonna click on start. And this will also have all of the information and the licensed establishment is the physical location of the business. It's that address. And so here we have the address and the unit. And if that is all correct, then we will continue application. If it's not, you will have to start the whole application process over. So click on continue application. And then this page tells you the documents that you will need to complete this portion of the application. You will need the zoning use permit or acknowledgement of zoning use permit. And then you will also need the possession of property certificate that has been filled out or the complete lease that is at least good for 90 days from the date of the application. And that lease will really will need all pages of the lease and it will need to be fully executed. Otherwise, just upload a, a completed possession of property certificate. And then we will also need to know who is the on-site manager. They are there day to day and it, it is the person that if we have a question that day that's operating the business, we can contact them. And the, we will need their full name, their date of birth, their home address, and their contact information. And then you click on continue application. And then here is a, a location name. So there's some companies that have multiple locations. Um, let's say like a Conoco store. And so a Conoco will have, you know, their, their company name is Conoco, but their individual stores are like store 123 or store 792. So here you can put a location name. If you don't want to do that, that's fine. You can just click on continue application, but we have found it's easier for people to keep track if they have a location name. And then you will click on continue application. And this is where we are going to ask for your on-site manager information. So you will click on add manager and you always have to have at least one on-site manager. You can have multiple on-site managers, but you at least need one. And we want their first name and their last name, and then we want their address. And then their date of birth. And then we would like their direct phone number and we want their email address. And then we want to know what their position is. And then you will click on submit. And then you'll review the information that you entered. And again, if you need to edit it, you would click on the box next to it and then click on edit selected. Otherwise, we will just click on continue application. And then this page is going to tell us whether you own or rent. If you click on rent, you will need to provide the expiration date of the lease. And if you click on own, that will just move. You will click on own and then click on continue application. And then here you will be uploading the zone use permit and the possession of property certificate or lease. And again, you want to make sure that both of these are on your computer. 
if you don't have them, you can click save and resume within 30 days and you can come back and start the application from this point. And then you click on continue application and this will bring you to the review page and again you will just review everything for completeness and then I read the oath of application click on the little box that says by checking this box I agree to the above certification and then you will click on continue application and finally we are going to complete the retail tobacco store license portion so you will click on start And this will bring you again to the page that you would just review what you have input before. And then you will click on continue application. And then this page tells you which documents you will need to upload. And so you want to make sure that you have all of these documents uploaded to your computer. And it does ask you if you have any violations of law or rules re regulated um, to tobacco sales and if you have any of those violations you'll want to make sure that you have uh, copies of those documents uploaded to your computer so you can upload that to your um, to this application if you do not that's okay if you do not have any violations that's okay uh, and then you will click on continue application and then this page is just asking you some eligibility questions. So you're going to read these and answer. And then you click on continue application. And then this is asking you to upload your city tax license and your state tax license. So you click on upload for the city and you upload that document. And then for the state, you click on upload and then you click on state tax license and upload. And then you will continue application. And this, this page is our Statements of Understanding page, and you will want to read all of these uh, statements, and then you will click next to the box that you understand and acknowledge the terms of obtaining this license. And then you will click on Continue Application. And again, you have your review page, and then you will read your oath of application, and you click on the checkbox, and then you click on continue application. Okay, so we have now completed all three portions of our application, and then you will want to click on submit application package, and this is going to take you to the payment screen. So you'll want to make sure that you have your payment method ready. So click on Submit Application Package. Okay, then you come to the payment page and it's going to tell you that you, before the, that application is submitted successfully, you need to pay for um, the application. So here, you can click here to go to your record list. And then here, you will see that you click on pay fees due. And this will tell you how much you're going to be paying. And then you will click on continue application. And this is going to redirect you to our payment page.
and again this is just reviewing how much you're going to pay so you have a $500 license fee and a $250 application fee and your total pad price will be $750 you click on checkout now and then here you will enter in your credit card information or your bank account information and so we are going to enter in the credit card and then the expiration date on the credit card and then the zip code for the billing address on the credit card and then you'll click on complete transaction And this is your receipt for your record. So you'll want to make sure that you take a screenshot of this and print this for your records because a, um, a receipt will not be emailed to you. This is your receipt. And then your application has been submitted and you will be notified by email the process that the application is in. Processing an application usually takes up to seven to 10 business days. And congratulations, you have successfully submitted your application. And you can go back to the permitting center. And then you could click on my records. And you'll be able to look at your business license and see what the status is of your business license. I want to thank you for watching this Denver Excise and Licenses video. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you.